prenatal formation of the human face is quite a complicated process that requires uh, growth, uh, fusion and movements of uh, more components. So this will be the simple version uh, of describing the process. Let's make a scheme of the frontal view of a head of an embryo. And the head of a fetus. Of course, the proportions are not preserved. Let me start with the stomodium, which at first is a widely opened uh, entrance to the mouth cavity. Below stomodium we got the mandible from the first mandibular arch. Then there will be the second uh, ectodermal cleft and so on. But we don't care now. We here was the will be the mandible. Uh, the stomodium. And the uh, nasal pits, the invaginating nasal pits, that's where the olfactory placode invaginates and forms the deeply, forms, uh, invaginates deeply into the nasal pit. And the nasal pits are surrounded by uh, some accumulation of uh, material called uh, nasal prominence. So there is some nasal prominence around it. And uh, I will use different color for the lateral part of the nasal prominence because the fate would be different. So this is the lat lateral nasal prominence and the medial part of the nasal prominence. We should not forget also the contribution of the maxilla, but uh, first uh, there will be the, the eye developing here laterally before it moves into its final position. And uh, here will be the maxillary prominence. Uh, elevated material also from the first pharyngeal arch, like the mandible. So I use red color for that. And this, uh, mat this uh, region is called the frontal prominence. And this part is called the frontal nasal prominence. So this is uh, the invaginating nasal pit. And the uh, here is the uh, the eye. This would be the maxillary prominence. And the mandible or mandibular prominence. 
this is the stomodium and we should label also the medial nasal prominence and the lateral nasal prominence. So after many shifts, movements, differential growth of these uh, components, we, we got uh, the, the mouth cavity with the lower lip here, the mandible, and uh, the eyes will shift into, into uh, their frontal position. So approximately like this. And now uh, the, uh, the medial nasal prominences, the left and right, will fuse together so I'm using the same color and they will form uh, they will uh, form the tip of the nose and the philtrum, this this uh, part of the upper lip while the medial nasal prominence, uh, sorry, la lateral nasal prominence will form the alley of the nose That's the blue region. Here will be the nostrils. And the maxillar prominence will grow pretty much, being responsible for these parts of the face. And also for the upper lip from both sides. So actually the upper lip, as we can see from the scheme, uh, requires th three components to fuse. The right maxillary prominence, the philtrum in the midline, and the left maxillary prominence to form a complete upper lip. Right? But let's label this, this part. Uh, so the medial uh, nasal prominence, uh, they will, it will fuse. to form the tip of the nose and the philtrum. This is the philtrum. This is the philtrum, right? Of the upper lip. Uh, the maxillary prominence will grow forming the cheeks. Le and lateral portion of the upper lip. So this is from the maxillary m prominence, both sides. And uh, I should not forget the 
the lateral nasal prominence that will form the the ala, the side part, the wings of the nose. And the nasal pits will become the nostrils. The frontal nasal prominence will form the forehead. And the bridge of the nose. process of fusion of the upper lip might, might it might fail resulting in the cleft lip which could be on both sides here with the philtrum that doesn't fuse with the maxillary processes or on one side only Here will be the philtrum fused properly, but not here. So we call it the cleft lip. Or kaloschisis which might be bilateral or unilateral. So the mandibular prominence becomes the mandible and uh, the lower lip and also the chin in the in the midline, the fusion of the right and left mandible. So although it's called cleft lip, it's actually a lack of fusion, right? Lack of fusion between co these components that need to fuse to, to produce a complete upper uh, lip. One more thing, the medial nasal prominence, as seen from the picture, give rise uh, also uh, to the crest and uh, crest of the nose. Not, so not only tip, but also the crest of the nose. Tip of the nose and the filtrum is correct. <laughs>